Well, we're joining from the very famous and much awaited BT Masterclass in New Delhi. And I'm joined uh, by Professor Vivek, uh, Dr. Vivek Ranga and uh, Professor S.C. Sharma. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining uh, us. And I think uh, the first question has to be, and uh, let's address the elephant in the room, the fact that uh, ICFA has been quite uh, on the leading charts every time when it comes to the top uh, business schools. So who do you credit uh, on this? Is it uh, the conventional norms coming, uh, going on for years or is it uh, the innovation along with, of course, the digitization that must be credited? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> thank you for a very comprehensive question. I, I will say that uh, our founder, Mr. N.J. Yashashvi, hmm. should be given credit. His name must be mentioned because it was he who visualized the future of management education. It was he who said that the purpose of a business school is to prepare the students for the industry and make them employable. Actually, what National Education Policy 2022 mm -hmm. is talking today, those very priorities were set by Mr. Yashashvi way back in 1990s. Right. Yeah, mid-1990s. So, to my mind, the systems, the ecosystem, the priorities, the strategies, the sequencing, and the seriousness that Mr. Yashashri has injected, that very uh, strength, that very light is taking it forward. Of course, people who have come or who are managing the affairs today have contributed very richly to see that we remain contemporary and we remain relevant and we are ahead of others in terms of our competitiveness. That's great. Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Ranga, I'm going to come to you. And the second question uh, has to be, you know, I'm going to relate it to our today's theme, which uh, has been navigating uncertainty in the post-pandemic era. So you have to tell me, how do you think has the whole sector, the education sector, uh, uh, changed uh, in the post-pandemic era? And what do you credit? Is it the academic values that have got better or the whole uh, concept of investment? in good education that uh, stands credible in today's times. Yeah. Uh, I'll take it further from what uh, Professor Srikant Dutar mentioned. He mentioned three things very clearly that mm -hmm. the emphasis of uh, digital transformation which is uh, impacting business. He also talked about uh, the kind of concern of the business on the society mm -hmm. and the third aspect of the future of the work. Now, when I take the future of work, I think that's the most important happening. And today, when we look at education and the influence of technology, I think what we're looking at when uh, the students were doing online, of course, they are expected to be working offline. They expected mm -hmm. to go to the office. Right. I think what is important today is the sin inherent sincerity of the student, you know, while they're being online. And I think that is the point we were driving last two years. And uh, mm -hmm. the onus of learning was to on them because, you know, they were uh, there were no measures to control the students. So I think that is what our faculty was able to drive them all across our nine campuses that uh, you come uh, and take initiative, be sincere in terms of the purpose. And that is what we have been experiencing with our recruiters. Today, our recruiters, or all, the, all the leading recruiters of the country have supported us and they realized that you know, the students are prepared more realistically in terms of. So I think right. that is the students have taken very, very right in the right uh, tenor and I feel that that's uh, something our biggest contribution right. a pandemic is and of course well we talk about the best of the both the worlds we are now again back in the offline but I think we are taking the good part of it in terms of you know uh, leveraging our uh, alumni connects leveraging our industry connects location free we have been able to perhaps connect with most of our people across the world and I think that is a good part we are taking and I'm sure this, uh, the incremental difference which has been happening uh, once we move from, away from pandemic, I think this will generate a new breed of uh, managers uh, which are going to come from our right. institution. Dr. Ranga, a very interesting point that you highlighted was about the recruiters. Just one follow-up question. What is the kind of behavioral change that you're seeing when it comes to job, job market, especially the fact that you're also uh, tied up with so many uh, big firms uh, uh, across uh, the globe? Do you see that, uh, uh, for example, Dean had mentioned and very interesting point was about resignation and layoffs so on the contrary are you seeing better hirings bigger hirings and at better pay scale 
Yeah, we, we, we've seen uh, increase in, uh, in terms of because I think new businesses have been created, new models have been innovated. I think one feedback which we got from the recruiter uh, just at the start of the pandemic was uh, that they are not. Of course, the, the knowledge part, the soft skills part is important, but also they need to be digitally native, you know, because right. a lot of business was uh, happening. You know, you had a retail store, your jewelry stores now, you know, you, you become converting into online, uh, those things. The bank accounts were being opened online. So I think that digital capabilities were very important in preferred. And I think that is what we train students. We train students. I think uh, none of us, in fact, the faculty, we had uh, invested a lot in terms of faculty training, uh, the teaching online, creating courses online. And these were small bites uh, were created. And I think that driven uh, the purpose. And that's what the second phase was, you know, educating the students about getting this adopting those skills so i think that is what the recruiter if i have to say yes. the premium in terms of numbers in terms of compensation uh, i think we have been getting a very positive feedback and i think uh, we, have, we definitely had the existing recruiters the quantum has uh, gone up in terms of numbers in terms of compensation but we also got new sectors uh, okay. coming you know the, awesome. the, the new model business emerging they also realize it's not only the fundamental knowledge we are providing but i think we have uh, as an institution, I think we were very responsive to uh, account all these changes. And I think we, we were ready by 18th May, I remember 2020, we were ready to orient the class. And this is something which we were doing, uh, like, like 2012, we invested a lot in IT. And so yes. I think this shifting was very easy for us. That's I think that is what uh, we got a positive okay. feedback. And I think this is encouraging. I think this is a start. We'll go way forward. Yes. I'd say dynamic and innovative. One last question, Professor Sharma, and this is also relating to the whole uh, fact of digitization. How do you see the future of education system in India? I mean, look at uh, uh, a new kind of, uh, I'd say, uh, uh, avenues that have come up. Online education that's gone really big. Tele-education is also upcoming. What is the future of education? Just a closing line. Well, <clears throat> two, three things I want to mention. Number one, <clears throat> Education has to be skill-based mm -hmm. and we don't have to go in for a situation where every student who wants to get employed has to necessarily get a degree, you see. Right. So, <clears throat> people should be able to get uh, jobs even after 12th class. Even after 12th class and a time should come in, in when... An, in an organic sector. In an organic sector. That is where we uh, we have to drive, you know. Mm. So 12th class and then you should have some certification programs. Mm. And these certification programs, some communication, some, some soft skill programs, certain programs which will enrich their uh, communication skills, mm. their capacity to get along with others their capacity to understand the viewpoint of others, their capacity to develop perspectives and move away from anecdotal understanding to conceptual understanding. That is all possible. Uh, that is the future of uh, education. And education has necessarily to become the starting point of individual's transformation. Transformation in terms of the societal interests, transformation in terms of the organizational interests. So man must go beyond his self-interest. And likewise, organizations also have to go beyond the limited perspective of profit motive or balance sheet driven, you see. So individual must contribute to the organization mm -hmm. without coercion. He should understand his enlightened self-interest. Right. It is only when the companies and corporate are profitable that they can share the prosperity with the employees. And on the other hand, the companies should invest in the human resources so that these human resources are skilled and contribute in a bigger way to the productivity and prosperity of the organization. Please. So, madam, in one word, I will say, Education has to be connected to the workplace. Education, book-based education, bookish education, theoretical education is of little relevance. Degree is required not for everybody, but jobs are required for everyone.
That's a wonderful point you've made, and I'm going to pick up the one word that is transformational. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us on Thank BT you. Masterclass. Thank you very much. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.